Mike. Well, the city of Broken Arrow is responding to neighbors' concerns about Bell's Amusement Park potentially opening near their homes. 2 News Oklahoma's Naomi Kitt heard from those neighbors and from city leaders. Some neighbors I talked with told me they moved here to retire. They didn't expect to live half a mile away from an amusement park. When we found out it was going to be Bell's Amusement Park, our world was turned upside down. We are pro-growth, but we need the right kind of growth. We were blindsided. That's all there is to it. The new Bell's property sits on 102 acres of land right off the Creek Turnpike between 71st and 81st. Neighbors in the Bell Lago subdivision near 81st and Evans Road say it's just too close to their homes. Can you imagine what this is going to sound like? I spent some time with Tammy Rickerson and Christy Walker. Tammy says it's not just the noise, but the lights, the crowds, and the potential crime the amusement park could attract. If we had known that there might have been a Bell's amusement park in the near future, we would not have bought our home here. Who wants to live next to an amusement park? Christy and her husband Johnny just moved in last November. They, along with other neighbors, say the quiet brought them to Bell Lago. They knew the property next door was zoned commercial. As a former realtor, commercial to me is office buildings, shopping. They didn't think an amusement park would be near the homes they plan to retire in. Please don't sacrifice our happiness, our investment, because sometimes growth is not necessarily good growth. I asked the city of Broken Arrow about their concerns. City manager Michael Spurgeon said the developer still has to secure city approvals for their plans, and that will give the city an opportunity to evaluate potential impacts on neighbors like traffic, noise, and public safety. In a statement, he said in part, quote, we are at the proverbial starting line of this project, and there's a long way to go and many hurdles for the developer to clear before any rides open. The city says Robbie Bell would like the first phase of the park to open in two years and the other three phases to open in one year increments. Reporting in Broken Arrow, Naomi Kitt, 2 News, Oklahoma.